Hello to all my friends and subscribers. Salamu alaikum. Kesa he? Sanggaye? Magandang araw sa lahat. Dobro horang ko. Buenas tardes. And of course to all who are watching. Good day to all of you. Welcome to my YouTube channel and here I'm gonna make like an easy and a handy tool for you. Before we begin, let me have a quick shout out to Design Logics where you can learn about the strength of the building and more about structural design. Also to my associate channels, Architect Fair, Design Ideas, and MCDC TV, where we can see more elegant design and awesome architectural ideas that we can possibly include in our homes. Please visit these three channels, and of course, don't forget to subscribe as well. Today's video is going to be a part one of our tutorial series. I'm going to show you how I started this gorgeous two-unit apartment, as you can see here on the screen from floor plans up to elevations, and how to do some basic setup for the printing, including setting up of the right scale. Throughout the series, I will try my best to make everything simple for all the beginners out there, so that at the end of the series, I can guarantee that you're not gonna be a newbie anymore, you will be savvy in AutoCAD after the complete series. As I mentioned, here is the house that we're gonna work on throughout the series. This is one of my projects in Cavite City, Philippines. It is a Mediterranean-inspired two-door apartment which I designed for my uncle, who is a lawyer. That's why I include these high columns to resemble government buildings because he worked in the government for quite some time. The lot coordinates and the design of this house remains private and everything here are for teaching purposes only. I also include in the design my favorite character, which is these half arcs and somehow became my trademark because it almost becomes a part of all my design, including my own house in Valenzuela City. The concept of these half arcs came from the most famous plant in the Philippines, and probably in Asia, which is the rice. And it happens to be the main food in the Philippines and Southeast Asia as well. You will never see any Filipino or Asian who doesn't eat rice, and how is it related to half arcs? I'm going to reveal that somewhere here in the videos, so you better watch the whole series. In this whole tutorial series, I will try my best to talk about how to set up the units and plot the lot bearing, how to organize your layers, how to create text and dimensions, how to draw the walls using dynamic block, how to draw the columns and inserting it using xref, how to copy dimension and text from another files, how to create blocks, how to use xclip and add some wipeout, how to create dynamic doors and windows, how to populate your plants with furnitures and vegetations, and how to start the elevations. In this part, we're gonna do five basic steps to draw the lot. And by the way, we're gonna use millimeters the entire series, and if you wanna work on other units, it's fine, but I'll be discussing on millimeters the whole time, so I suggest you follow along. So without further ado, let's start the countdown. But first, please do me a favor by hitting the like and subscribe button and the bell icon as well to keep you notified on my next tutorials. On number 5, get the coordinates. Usually, when someone asks you to design his house, the basic information you need to know, of course aside from the compensation, is to get the copy of the lot bearing or the plot limits or it is also called the technical description or whatever you call it in your country. It is the plot or the piece of land where you're gonna build the house. You can usually get it in the transfer certificate of title such as this, or also you can get it from the lot survey which the owner must have, and from there, you can extract the coordinates. Here is the sample of the lot bearing or the coordinates that you need. It's better to get a piece of paper or jot it down somewhere and make sure that you will get the point marked as 1 up to the last point and it usually goes back to point 1 again. It simply means that the lot encloses from one point all the way going back to the same starting point. And when you're done with your homework, you can now hit the AutoCAD keyboards. And that will lead us down to the fourth step we need to know to draw the lot and that is to set up your workspace. The first time you open the AutoCAD, you will end up in this black screen, which will be your drawing area. And if you notice why my icons are different, it is because you are using the default workspace of AutoCAD, which is the drafting and annotation. 
and I am using the AutoCAD Classic workspace which is completely okay. It's just that I got used to the AutoCAD Classic because I use keyboard shortcut instead of icons and AutoCAD Classic has a bigger drawing area. You can change the workspace on this uh, workspace flyout and if you don't have the AutoCAD Classic, you can watch my other videos on how to create the AutoCAD Classic on the link below. And when you made up your mind what workspace you're gonna work on, you can now go down to the third important steps we need whenever we start from scratch, and that is to set up the units. On the command line, type UN, enter. Then, this dialog box will appear. Make sure that the length and the angles are in decimal. Under precision, by default, it's four decimal places, so let's just keep it that way. And the insertion scale, on this arrow down, let's choose millimeters, then OK. Again on the command line, type OP or options. Then this dialog box will appear. Go to user preferences, source contents, make sure it is on millimeter, target units, make it millimeter. Apply and OK. Let us test the drawing area. To do it, type PL or polyline, enter. Specify start point, type 0, comma, 0, comma, 0, enter you will notice that your start point will go to the X and Y axis. Press F8 to restrict your movement to straight lines only. Then type 1000, enter. Another enter to terminate the command. Then zoom extend. That would be Z, enter, E, enter. So this is your 1000 millimeter or one meter. I always do this whenever I start from scratch to see how big one meter is in relation to the entire drawing area. It's up to you if you're okay with these imaginary grid lines on the screen, but if you're not okay with it, just like me, just press or hit F7 or the grid lines on and off. The second best thing you need to do when you start from scratch is to do some customization or setting your own preferences. I also like to do some little customization like changing the color of the drawing area into black so that it would not be so tiring to the eyes. To do that, type OP, enter, go to display, then colors. Then under the context 2D model space, uniform background, color, change it into black. Apply and close, apply, okay. Then this drawing area will become black. Another thing, when you start from scratch and do a command, let's say E, enter, as you notice, the pick box will be very small. To make it bigger, go back to the same dialog box again. I'm going to escape. Type OP. Enter. Go to selection. Then you can make the pick box bigger by controlling this slider. Apply. OK. Type E for erase. Now the pick box is bigger. You can save your work. Go to your directory. You can name your file whatever you want. I'm gonna name mine plan-01, then save. Before we go on to the number one, please do me a favor of hitting the like and subscribe button and the bell icon as well for the next tutorials. Now it's time for us to start drawing your lot. Here is the sample of the coordinates or the technical description that we're gonna use. From point one to two, the direction would be south, three degrees, 54 minutes west, 11.77 meters. Meaning, from this point, which is 1, up to point 2, the distance is 11.77 meters. If you're going to draw your south line here, the inclination of this line would be 3 degrees 54 minutes going to the west. Same thing here from point 2 to point 3. The distance is 9.50 meters. The direction, north, 86 degrees, 5 minutes west. Meaning, from this point 2, if you're gonna draw your north line here, the inclination would be 86 degrees 5 minutes going to the west. So, same thing on the other coordinates. And when you draw all these coordinates, this is how it's gonna look like. All of these coordinates is with respect or based on point 1. In the real world, there is an exact coordinates of this point number one in the planet Earth. If you have it, that's fine, you can reflect it in your drawing, but it will not be so relevant in the design, so let's just forget about it for now. And how did I end up with this gorgeous lot drawing? The command is 
PL or polyline. And to enter these coordinates, we use the pattern at or holding your shift key plus this key, distance, which is in millimeters, then angle or holding your shift key plus this key, the direction, the number of degrees, the degrees, which is denoted by letter D, the number of minutes, and the minutes, which is denoted by this key or the apostrophe key. Then the other direction, and don't forget to enter. Let's try. Let's pan this drawing somewhere down, then command PL, enter, specify start point, let's pick somewhere here. Then for your second point, at 11.77 meters, so that would be 11770, angle S3D54, apostrophe, W. So this is your second point. For the third point, at 9500, angle N86, D, 5, apostrophe, W. Next point is at 3990, N43, D, 8 minutes, W. Then at 8630, angle N. Just press enter because there is no value. It means 0. Then at 13010, angle S88, D, 2 minutes, E. Or let's say W. I deliberately put W just to show you that if you got mistake, don't panic. Just press U to undo. And again, at 13010, angle S88, D, 2, apostrophe, then E. Enter. Another enter to terminate the command. Let's see if it is closed. It didn't close. So if you have a cases like this, do not fill it. Because most probably this point number 1 is correct. All you gotta do, just move this, this point number 5 to point number 1. Just make sure your OSNAP is on. Then end point. Then if you have the correct bearing from the surveyor, you can change it anytime. Also in the actual world, it will not be very noticeable. Because maybe it's just a matter of centimeters. Zoom extends. That's Z. Enter. E. Enter. Now you know how to draw the technical description or lot bearing. You may find it difficult at first, but just keep on trying and keep on watching these tutorials. And please don't skip my ads, because it really do helps us a lot. On the next lesson, we will discuss one of the fundamentals in AutoCAD, that is the layering. I'm going to show you how to manage your drawings using layers, and also how to draw this text. So see you on the next tutorial. Stay at home and stay healthy, stay positive, and may the true God Jehovah bless us all.